I'm Caden Campisi. I'm a 17-year-old videographer from Chicago. You're watching Burp Sand. Stretch my hands to you. Life like this is what your life like. Try to live the life right. People really know you push your buttons like type right. This is like a movie, but it's really very lifelike. Every single night, right? Every single fight, right? I started with Smiley Films and probably six months after I started filming, I started filming about a year ago, um, I was just thinking of something I wanted to brand my videos with. I wanted to do something that would be positive and like uplifting and I can make merch that even like kids would wear. So it's not just one age group. I thought it was simply like the smiley face and I saw it, I remember seeing it in a lot of videos where there's like trippy ASAP Rocky videos or just like any other videos on YouTube. I'd always see a smiley face so I kind of took that as a sign and I, uh, I had my graphic designer Mark and um, I had him messing with just uh, our styles of our own. So we ended up doing that and like beaming out in different colors like red, blue, pink, green, all that purple, all those colors. We, uh, we did that and like those are beams for like the different people that are part of Smiley Films. And um, when I made that, when I made Smiley Films, um, I wanted it to be that way where everyone would have like a different color and all. I got into it like the beginning of junior year of high school. In study hall, I would be watching music videos instead of doing my work. I like, got really into it watching all these like lyrical lemonade videos, all these videos with uh, ASAP Rocky. And those videos really inspired me to um, get into like creative workflow of editing. Watching those videos, uh, I think that really inspired me to actually start filming and getting into editing. I remember downloading a Premiere, and the first music video I shot, it just like clicked, so I knew it would be a passion. So I, from then on there, I shot a video with my friend Evan. We shot a little fun video, just messing around, and um, it ended up becoming like a big passion. So I ended up going with it, and uh, that's why I started. My favorite thing about um, filming and editing, um, in editing I love like being able to like think of something while filming while I'm messing with the camera and then actually like going through with the editing like whether it's like fire in the background or like lightning in the sky, just like thinking about that in real life and putting that into the computer, it's probably one of the coolest things about editing, that's why I do it. There's like, there's like eight of us. There's like seven of us. Right, Tris? There's, there's like seven of us. I started it in the beginning just thinking about like with my, with my school people, like just like thinking about something to branch off with. But then we ended up getting all my people. I'm here right now with my boy Jordan. Shout out Jordan. So after that, I wanted to, um, I wanted to branch out into, I wanted to branch them out into different things. So like, we have graphic designers a part of it. We have, um, BTS shooters, behind the scenes shooters for like photography and even video. Um, we were even thinking about in the future starting like smiley vlogs, so like we'll have someone behind the camera for those, seeing like, behind the scenes on, on and off set. But um, everyone does their part, everyone does their role, whether it's like selling merch or like shouting out the thing, getting it in the school or out of school. It's, like everyone has their own connections, and that's the biggest thing like having connections and the fact that we have so many people to branch out with, that's like one of the best things. That's my brother. What's that? Yo. You in Chicago? We gonna, we gonna shoot today? Huh? We gonna shoot today? I'll be ready. Say what's up. No. You got this smiley sweater, stop playing. That's a fact. Hey, they representing Chicago. You guys put Chicago on the map forever. Never. I love you too. I'll be ready when you are.
we're gonna shoot a movie today. We're gonna shoot a five movie. Um, we're shooting, we're shooting an unreleased song. I can't really say much about it, but it's gonna be one of our most fire ones. Hopefully, we put it on the Smiley Films page. I met Dex last year at Rolling Loud, but I was, it, was, it was so weird how I met him. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the guy in Cali Plug. Cali Plug saw me filming, and um, I in Rolling Loud is like in the artist launch. And uh, he saw me, he's like, yo, come vlog this for me. And I didn't know anyone at the time. I, was, I wasn't really filming for anyone big at the time. I, didn't, I haven't shot with anyone big. He's like, yo, come here, we're gonna go shoot this. He takes me in the back lounge and all I see is Dex in the room. He's like, yo, come here, hook Dex up, blah, blah, blah. He takes me in Dex's room and that's when I'm shooting for Dex. When I had my camera pointed at Dex, that's when I was like, I was like determined. I'm like, nah, I'm shooting with Dex. Like a week later, I got in contact with Dex's manager because that's where I met him at Rolling Loud. I said, I want to shoot with him. And um, he's like, I, I'm, he saw my work and he, um, he's just like, we just got to get you another camera. He saw me upgrade the camera. We talked it out. Like four weeks later, I ended up shooting with Dex. One of my favorite artists, like one of my favorite artists growing up, not growing up, but like, Three four years ago actually was Dex, so to be able to work with him was like super cool. Like I remember like when I was first editing his first videos that I shot with him, I would like have to the side my computer and just be watching his old videos, and it would be like, damn, it's cool to work with him. Like that was one of the coolest things for sure. In LA, uh, I really want to shoot with Trippy Red. He's one of the biggest artists I've always wanted to shoot with since I started filming. Like. I remember watching his videos, they really got me in editing, like the Love Scars video, just like the Trippy edit. I was able to work with Trippy a few weeks ago in a way. Uh, I was shooting like behind the scenes in the, studi in the studio. Um, I was shooting a music video for Warhol, and uh, he ended up bringing me to the studio, and uh, all I see pop out of the corner is Trippy, and it was one of the coolest moments ever. So, um, put my camera on him, that's like the same thing with Dex a year ago, it was like, being able to just do that is like, it just, it, determination it's like oh I'm gonna shoot for him for sure so I think in a few months I'll for sure shoot with Trippy 100% so we play random so we click random three times and the first question yes I'm unbeatable nobody can beat me in 2k Luke can't beat me in 2k Max can't beat me in 2k Hunter can't beat me in 2k not even Jordan can beat me in 2k like nobody can beat me in 2k I played Dex before um I honestly don't remember if I will Lost or won. That's what I was gonna say. I don't think I beat him. Um, he's pretty good at 2K, so I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, but otherwise, like I was saying, um, nobody else can beat me at 2K. Nope, that's a fact. Uh, my favorite snack food is like cereal. Exotic cereals, bro. Exotic cereals. We'll be going to California. That's like all we eat. We get so much exotic cereals. Shout out Exotic Boulevard, Exotic Koi. They got all the exotic cereals. Um, Dex showed me that place when we went there. We cashed out an exotic soda, exotic cereal. And that's my favorite snack, the exotic cereals for sure. We were in LA. We were in, um, we were in South Central, um, kind of like Compton. And um, we were. We were shooting a music video with, well, I was shooting a music video with, uh, I think it was White Amal, he's from Texas, and uh, we were with another rapper named Mad North, and um, we were shooting outside in this uh, in this house. I didn't really know where I was at at all. We were, we were, I haven't even moved to LA yet. I was still, um, I was just visiting from Chicago, and um, we were shooting a music video, and um, just, these dudes pulled off on us and they just started spraying. It was like the craziest thing ever. But um, luckily, every everyone there, they were okay. I mean, um, one dude had to go to the hospital, but he ended up being okay that night. Got released like two days later. But um, it was like crazy to chase us on foot, but like, through an alley. Um, the cops came and held us there for like two hours. I was running with my camera and like, the messed up thing is, when I was running with the camera, I would not let it go. Like, I didn't let it drop. Like, when I fell, I remember I tripped on, like, a light pole. I fell with the camera. Like, I did not let it drop. I did not let it get cracked. I remember my friend, um, my friend Aiden was with me, and, um, his camera actually got, like, like, not sliced, but, like, the lens got chipped, because, like, he fell, and, like, his knees were all 
Oh, he was messed up. His jeans got ripped up. <laughs> that was like the craziest moment ever shooting. For sure. I used to play Call of Duty. Honestly, I'm playing Fortnite right now. Fortnite's one of my favorite games to play still, like, even though it's pretty old. When I played Call of Duty, it was Modern Warfare 2 for sure. Uh, that's one was like Terminal, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was that one for sure. I remember like always as a kid, like I remember like on, you know, on Christmas I would be playing Call of Duty on the Xbox. That was my favorite thing. Right now it's Fortnite. I love playing Fortnite. I don't know why. Uh, shout out Fortnite. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Um, I want to say Eternal Take, just because it's so, like, everyone's been wanting that. Yeah. Everyone also wants Cardi's album, too, but, um, shout out Cardi, but, um, for Uzi, I'm going to pick Eternal Take on this one, for sure. Um, right now, I know it just dropped, but it's Kanye's album. I, I love it. I love that he's, um, I saw in a tweet that, like, he's saying, like, it's not even, like, um, Crit any criticism either, but he said like um, for atheists and for like everyone like he's, everyone in, in their safari is typing in like Spotify and Apple Music is typing in Jesus is King. I thought that was one of the coolest things because like some people haven't even heard those words before. So like the fact that he named his album that just so like he knew everyone would type those words and like that's, those words would be stuck in their head like uh, that was pretty cool and like the whole album I think was fire. Shout out Kanye. We gonna work soon. Remember when that clown shit was happening? The Illinois clown, like the one who like was running Illinois and like scaring people in Illinois. I tweeted at him, I was like, yo, you gotta 1v1 me, like in basketball and shit. And he tweeted back at me, he was like, boy, I'll cross you back to the Black Plague. It was on from there. The, the next day at school, everyone was like, damn, you gotcha. <laughs> like they were, they were on me. I think, Gary V. I think he's one of the most entertaining people, like on Twitter too. Um, he's just um, and the stuff he speaks, it's just like it's like, it's super inspiring. Just like the way he like the motivation, the way he works. So like the fact that like he I mean, he talks about like not going to college and stuff. I'm like, obviously like some people you know college isn't for, it's for some people and some people it isn't. But like that's one of his biggest things. It's like you don't need to do that to go far in life, and I took that far. That's cool. I was, I was, well, I was, that was 2018. Damn, I was like 16. You know, I was on Twitter, <laughs> but that's crazy. I never even heard that one. Yeah, that would be fire. Um, imagine if like. It was an Adam Twenty Two No Jumper interview, but then again, who I guess if you think about it, who would run it? I can run it if you want. We could do, um, we could do a, a Adam Twenty Two No Jumper interview. Um, I got tattoos like mostly. I got most of them when I was seventeen. But I got some of them when I was sixteen. Um, my dad is a big inspiration for um, having a lot of my tattoos, but um, I, I started getting them like. Not not just because rappers had them, but like seeing that they had them, and like I was watching like the the meaning behind like rappers' tattoos, and like the fact that they had so much meaning behind theirs. Like for example, like I know Dex, like he has the cancer ribbon that's for his mom that passed, um, and he has like Rip and his mom's name. Like I think that's cool how like he has personal stuff like that. So like all my tattoos just get meaning. Like I have my mom's signature, and I have that like, um, and I have that inked in red. Um, I have a smiley logo. I have like our logo tatted on me. Um, I got a smiley face. Um, the 14 that represents. Um, I was born on May 14th, so I think it was cool to have a, tat a 14 tatted on me. Um, I got a Snoopy tatted on me. Um, when I was growing up, Charlie Brown was like one of my favorite movies. Um, <coughs> the cancer ribbon was when my grandma passed away. So um, I thought the cancer ribbon that was uh, the close one to me, and um, the cross was also um, that was when my grandpa passed away. So um, that was really the cross, and um, those are basically my tattoos. All right, we eat an exotic cereal today. It's exotic though, so it's not it's not regular cereal. So we gonna try this today. I'll take a cereal commercial. I'll eat this. 
font. No, I recommend this. It's like, it's by, it's by Post or Hostess. I, I don't know who makes this, but if you guys want to sponsor me with this, I'll, I'll put this in the music videos or something. Yeah. Like an eight, honestly. It's, yeah. got, it's missing a flavor a little bit, but it's pretty good, so I'm up with it. It's good. Shout out Birds Entertainment. Um, it's one of the most fire interviews I've ever done. It was, uh, it was cool to be a part of it. I appreciate them reaching out to me. Um, so um, their handle is probably going to be down there below at Birdsnet. Say shout out Smiley. Um, <laughs> shout out Jordan for coming. I appreciate him. We uh, we drove the bands up here. Yeah, shout out the whole Smiley gang. Uh, shout out my parents. I wouldn't be here without my parents. Shout out Gaha. Shout out Dex. Um, that's all. Appreciate that. You guys have a good day. Stretch my hands to you. Life like this is what your life like. Try to live the life right. People really know you push your buttons like.